Hey there, Louis Akabalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can pop out shared content in a Teams meeting into its own window. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Lastly, if you find my content helpful, consider supporting me as a creator by becoming a channel member. You can learn about all of the awesome perks that are included in my channel membership by clicking the join button below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna go ahead and click on the share content button and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna start off by demonstrating how to pop out the shared content window using PowerPoint Live. So I'm gonna click on one of these PowerPoint presentations and this is going to display the PowerPoint presentation in presenter mode. And that is for me as the person presenting these slides, the participants will see this presentation as if it's being presented through PowerPoint in presentation mode. Now, what I want to draw your attention to is this new pop out button at the top of the meeting controls panel. Now, at the time of recording this video, this feature is actually being rolled out into general availability. And so if you don't have it, stay tuned. It should be released in your Microsoft Teams environment imminently. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click pop out. And you can see here that what this feature does is it allows you to split out the shared content in its own separate window from the actual meeting window. So using the meeting window, you can access the chat you can access your meeting controls, such as your camera, your microphone, the share content button. And then in the shared content window, you can access the content that you're sharing, in this case, PowerPoint Live, annotations, etc. So this is a really handy feature to allow you to either focus in on the content that's being presented, but still be able to view meeting participants, for example, or if you're the presenter, you can now easily monitor the actual meeting in terms of the chat, if individuals are raising their hand, et cetera, and still keep your eye on the shared content. Now, really important note, this feature works for PowerPoint Live. So as you can see here, if you're presenting and you are presenting using PowerPoint Live, you'll be able to pop out this shared content in its own window. You will also be able to pop out Microsoft Whiteboard, if you initiate that in the context of a meeting. And if you're a participant, if the presenter is sharing their screen, then you'll also be able to pop out the shared screen into its own window. Now on that point, if you are the presenter and you share your screen, you are not going to have the option of popping out your window into its own separate screen. And again, that's because you're sharing your entire screen. Now, if at any point you want to bring the shared content window back into the central meeting window, all you need to do is go ahead and click on the X. And you can see here that this now has brought the shared content window back into the main meeting window. And I'll just go ahead and make this a little bit bigger here. So you can see all I needed to do is click the X. And to demonstrate that point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on the share button and this time I'm going to scroll down and click on Microsoft Whiteboard. Now, by default, the whiteboard is going to open up in the main meeting window. And again, you can see here in the meeting controls bar that again, you have the option of popping out the whiteboard. And here it is displayed in its own separate window from the actual main meeting window. Now again, to return the shared content window, you just wanna click the X and that's gonna bring it back into the main meeting window. And that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can pop out shared content in a Teams meeting into its own window. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest content that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.